Hi everybody, my name is Elizabeth and I'm a librarian here at the LSC Tomball Community Library. Welcome back to Screenshots, which is the series where I recommend you great movies that you can watch for free through the Harris County Public Library. If you've been keeping up with horror movies over the past few years, you've probably noticed a trend toward movies set in isolated rural areas featuring ancient curses, creepy cults, and a strong influence from folklore. This is actually the resurgence of a previously small subgenre of films called folk horror that saw its heyday in the 1960s and 70s with British films like The Wicker Man and Witchfinder General. According to Andy Patrick in his essay, Folk Horror from the Fields, Forests, and Furrows, folk horror has four key components. A strong sense of place, a feeling of isolation, characters with skewed moral beliefs, and a mysterious incident or happening. The 2019 film Midsummer, directed by Ari Aster, features all of those things in spades and has been the forefront of a renaissance in folk horror films. There are actually a ton of great folk horror movies coming out right now and we have access to a lot of them through the Harris County Public Library. So whether you're as obsessed with Midsummer as I am or you're looking to get into the genre, keep watching because I will be recommending you four great folk horror movies that you can watch from the Harris County Public Library. Just a heads up before we get going, all of these films are rated R except for one of them. So if you've got a young horror buff in your family who wants to watch these with you, be mindful of your choices. Midsummer's director Ari Aster is leading the 21st century wave of folk horror filmmakers, but he's been doing this since before Midsummer was ever released. Which is why to help get you going in the rest of the genre, I would specifically like to recommend his 2018 film Hereditary. Hereditary starts off with the death of miniature artist Annie's mother, a reclusive woman with a shadowy and sinister past, as well as a history of severe mental illness that may or may not be passed on to the rest of her family, and really only goes downhill from there. What starts off as a deeply personal story dealing with grief and something kind of like a ghost story with potential supernatural elements, it goes full full core in the final act and features some of the most shocking twists that I have ever seen in a horror movie. I'm going to spare you any of more specific details so that you can experience it firsthand, but I can tell you that it features a fantastic score as well as a truly tour de force performance by Toni Collette as Annie. If you loved how Midsummer blended personal drama with horror movie stakes, you are absolutely going to love Hereditary, and you can watch it on Canopy. Ari Aster is not the only great director making impeccable folk horror at the moment, and the other most exciting filmmaker working in the genre right now would have to be Robert Eggers. You may have seen his genre-defying film The Lighthouse in theaters last year, but his true great contribution to the genre would have to be 2015's The Witch. The Witch is set in colonial New England and follows a Puritan family following a great family tragedy which they respond to with some surprising choices that call both their superstitions and their faith into question. This movie is absolutely dripping in atmosphere and features both weighty personal themes as well as some pretty genuinely scary supernatural events. A quick pro tip for me though, if you do watch this, I would highly recommend watching it with subtitles on, even if you wouldn't do that normally because the characters do speak in a period accurate dialect of English that can be a little tough to understand at times. This may make The Witch sound like something of a challenging movie to enjoy, but it features some really great high octane scares, as well as a world that is bursting with detail and is really interesting to explore. You can watch The Witch on Canopy. I will acknowledge horror films are not for everyone, but thankfully, folk horror is a very versatile genre and one that is founded primarily on atmosphere rather than on gore or jump scares. So if you're looking for something that still fits the genre but won't make you sleep with the lights on, then I would recommend the 1975 film Picnic and Hanging Rock. Picnic at Hanging Rock is set in rural Australia in the year 1900 and follows the students 
from a prestigious all-girls school after they mysteriously disappear on a picnic to the titular Hanging Rock on Valentine's Day. Picnic at Hanging Rock features all of the rural imagery, ancient mysticism, and mysterious details that you would come to expect from the genre, but the horror is primarily centered on a sense of creeping dread rather than on any big scares. Picnic at Hanging Rock gives you just enough information about the disappearance of the girls and what may or may not be going on at Hanging Rock to keep you invested, but still gives you plenty to puzzle over once the credits have rolled. Additionally, Picnic at Hanging Rock is rated PG, so if you've got a young friend or family member who may want to watch this with you or get into the horror genre, this is a good place to start them off. You can check out Picnic at Hanging Rock on DVD from the Harris County Public Library. Folk horror is a tremendously adaptable genre, and whether they're specifically labeled this way or not, there is folk horror coming out of pretty much every cinema scene in the world right now. If you're looking to broaden your scope of folk horror movies outside of just the English-speaking world, then I would recommend the Estonian film November. Folk horror, as you will probably notice from the movies on this list, is a genre that primarily traffics in mood rather than specific details, but November is founded in actual Estonian folklore, specifically the Krat, which is a magical creature created from everyday household objects that does the bidding of its owner. It follows a young farmhand who creates a Krat to win the affections of a sleepwalking baroness as well as a local girl who tries to use magic to win his affections and get out of her arranged marriage, all with terrible consequences. November is fascinating in the way it incorporates real Estonian folklore into the plot of a horror movie, and in addition to all of this fantastic detail, it also incorporates some really gorgeous shots of the Estonian countryside in addition to all of the great scares. You can watch November on Canopy. So those were four great folk horror movies that you can watch through the Harris County Public Library if you loved Midsummer. Be sure to like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube so you never miss a future episode of Screenshots or any of our other great online programs. And be sure to reach out and let us know if you watch any of these movies or if you have an idea for a future episode of Screenshots. I'm always looking for more great movies to recommend to you guys, so I would love to hear what you think and what kinds of things you're looking for. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!